Hey everybody, Chris Schaefer with Potsky Outdoors. We're back in Pennsylvania today doing a little brook trout fishing. We call this like an evening lake. Come here for a couple hours, you can catch a lot of fish with the right bait. Now, we're using Potsky Fireballs and Fire Bait today, and we're gonna show you how easy it is to come here and catch a quick limit of fish in a short amount of time. Fish on here. I don't know what it is yet. It's a nice one. That's a brook. Yeah, is that the one on the fireballs? Yeah. <laughs> I was running a, uh, two fireballs in that, two different colors. That's a nice brook. Oh, yeah. That. Check that out there. Ooh. Oh, you got the whole thing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you hit that one hard. He's a monster, yeah. but rookie. Oh, there he comes. Yeah, another nice brook trout here. This one picked up the peach garlic fire bait off the bottom of the lake. And we're just starting to get into some fish now. There he is. Is that, a, is that another brookie? Yep. Ooh, yeah. All right, this guy came out. He grabbed a piece of the feed pellet brown that I threw out there. Funny thing is, it wasn't too far off the bank. It was maybe only five, six feet off the bank. He was hanging in pretty close. All right, so today we're fishing a lake. So as you can see, we have a bunch of rods spread out and variations of what we're doing on different rods. We got some on bobber, and then this I'm using floating off the bottom. I'm taking my peach garlic fire bait. Um, I'm still doing the same thing. Not too much, just just a little bit. And what I'm doing with this is putting it on my hook, making a little ball to start off, and then I roll it to make it look like some people call it a minnow, some people call it a worm, just like that. And when that hits the water and sinks down, it kind of swims when it goes down, and that kind of gets the fish's attention. So, so we've been rigging it up, and I've been using. Two split shots right above that, probably about two feet, so it kind of floats up off the bottom, so it's not hanging right at the bottom. Rookie. He got him. What's crazy is that fish was like right on the bank. Yeah, very close. Oh yeah, boom! John, did you get that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nobody in the snake didn't get him. Yep. All right, so a little bit of recap today. On the left, we have feed pellet brown fire bait. On the middle, we got peach garlic. On the right, we got garlic salmon egg. But we did not fish them in a ball like most people have always done their lives. We simply rolled them up just like that, feed pellet brown peach garlic and garlic salmon egg left to right. We're gonna show you one more time how to do this. And this is how we basically fished all of our baits today except for the ones under the bobber. Simply, you get a little glob, you roll it into a small ball, easy as you've always done your whole life. Now that you have that ball between your hands, kind of pancake it, roll it, and there you have it. Stays on the hook better and the fish seem to love it. Ooh, there's a snake right behind you too. Oh, really? Snake in the water, look. Going after my fish. Yeah. A lot of snakes around here. Another brook trout, huh? Yep. Rookie. Rookies and fire bait. Today's episode of Potsky Outdoors comes to you from Pennsylvania. We're doing a little brook trout and brown trout fishing here on Whipple Dam. Now Whipple Dam, oh, it's only about 15 to 20 minutes from State College, Pennsylvania, but it's also in a short distance from Harrisburg and several other larger cities. And what people like about it the most is it receives a lot of brook trout. It's a great place to come if you want to grab one of those anywhere from 12 to 14 inch brook trout that are planted by the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. Now, some of these fish have beautiful colors. Man, we did catch them up to almost 16 inches today. Now, we did all of our fishing from the bank, just like everybody else. This is a very popular lake. 
partially because it's so easily accessible. You know, you can come out here with a wheelchair if you wanted to. You can come out here with kids if you wanted to. It's easy for the elderly to park and walk about two feet in if you're an experienced angler and want to jump on the dam and cast spinners, spoons, and other things. You're more than welcome to do so and you'll be joined by a lot of other anglers. This is a really popular place to fish. Now, we did something a little bit different today. We came out here with Potsky fire bait and floated it off the bottom and catching easy limits of fish. We released most of those fish today as long as they didn't swallow the hook. Now, we also used bobbers, and the reason being is we wanted to play with Potsky's fireballs. And we use fireballs because you can throw them out there, they stay on the hook, and they have a tremendous amount of scent. So what we did is put a little gold garlic on there, teamed it up with pink shrimp. That combination drew a couple of bites from the surface as well. Oh, you shouldn't even complain. <laughs>